How you do? How you do? I'm sick. I'm getting over being sick. My son made me up a concoction. We got some mini that he can tell you about, but we got some mint tobacco and he mixed it in with Boswell's No Bite Delight. No Bite Delight and pretty good. <laughs> it's called Frosty Delight. Gotta smoke it in a corn cob because it'll ruin your other pipes. Speaking of that, we got a package yesterday. We were too sick to do a video yesterday, but it's from uh, Angel Diesel Dragon Tamer. And he sent us a concoction of Frosty Woods, which is Frosty Mint in Northwoods, which I smoked, and it's pretty good. Like, the Frosty Mint's good. I like it. I like it straight up. I'll be smoking that, too. He, he also sent these. He sent these bracelets to us. They're solid copper, and they're to relieve arthritic uh, pain. People with arthritis, which both me and him have arthritis. I'm looking for it to turn my wrist green, but... I feel like we are like Wonder Woman, ready? Right? Like... Ching! Ching! Cha Ching! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, we still have a sense of humor, even though we're sick. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're always sick, aren't we? We're <laughs> sick motherfuckers. <laughs> so, thank you, Angel. Again, that's uh, the second care package yeah, he sent us you. in like a week. Um, I'm smoking some uh, new blend that I haven't had yet. It's from Boswell's. It's called Countryside. A lot of people want to say that it's a tamed down version of Northwoods, which uh, I'm not going to agree with that. I've smoked a few bowls out of it now. It has its own taste. It's nothing like Northwoods. Northwoods is Northwoods. Countryside, it tastes to me like hickory smoked beef jerky. Northwoods tastes like you're eating a campfire, which I like. It's good. It's tasty, but this tastes like hickory smoked beef jerky. <coughs> it's really good, and uh, it just went out. It's, it's a little wet. Um, but I have a, uh, another fact that I learned this morning about the pipe that I'm smoking. I was talking to AD on Skype, and, uh, he was talking about, um, you know, dating and nomenclature on pipes, and that he had a website that he was using, and I said, well, you know what, I have a Dunhill poker that I got, uh, a while ago last year sometime I won this off eBay for I think 78 bucks and um, didn't have any uh, you know any inscription or description nothing about it it was just Dunhill poker and I won it and it's been a great pipe I straightened the stem out it was bent I straightened it myself I cleaned it uh, no reaming needed and it's been a great pipe well I looked up uh, this website that AD showed me and then I found another website and the numbers that are on this pipe, it says 52CW, Dunhill, made in England, with the number 16. Come to find out, this is the number, I guess, 52 of the series, Cherrywood Poker, 1976. My fucking birth year. <laughs> you know, I always look for 1976 Dunhill just to have the birth year pipe. Well, I've been looking for nothing. I've had it for a year now, and, and I just figured it out today. But, uh, see, the lighting in here sucks, but let me put it on the back side of this. <coughs> but, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> and this, this style with the silver band and the, uh, saddle bit stem was made from 1976 and 1977. So, I feel very fortunate. I've got a very rare, uh, Dunhill poker pipe. That's my birth year. Yay. So, uh, thank you, AD, for... Help me, uh, you know, get my mindset on looking it up. Because before I really didn't care. Matches 860 has gotten a new camera. And he is now HD quality. His videos are looking clear. Oh, I, I thought I could reach out and touch him the other day. I just watched a Saturday morning video and he's uh, smoking at one of his favorite smoking spots uh, down by a creek and awesome scenery. I mean, nice. Where the beavers are. But that's really weird, you know. He's in uh, Connecticut, and this time of year, he's right. There's usually snow on the ground. It's colder than hell, and look like fucking springtime there. It's 80 degrees here today. Um, Something's going on with the universe, man. It's melting. Um, one other important thing we got to talk about is on our last video, 
you know, and it, this has just been irritating us for months. It's just like we get all these subscribers and nobody has uh, videos or, you know, anything describing who they are. We have no idea who you are. You could be a kid, could be a stalker, uh, Peter Puffer, we don't know. Well, um, and we didn't want to offend anybody by saying that, but I think it encouraged a lot of people. We've got a fucking list of people that put out first videos. And I don't know if it's because of our video. If it wasn't, it doesn't matter. If it was, hey, awesome job. I mean, there's more people. Uh, more than merrier. Yeah, more people to make awesome videos for us to watch. Um, like today, Saturday morning, you know, we're just chilling. There ain't shit on YouTube today. I mean, very, very few videos. We watched them all in an hour. And we actually have time to watch videos today and respond, and there's nothing going on. We don't have TV, so we got to yeah. do something. Make a video. So, um, new subscribers to us and that uploaded their first video within this week. Jesus Tobacco Metal, or Jesus Tobacco Metal. I think it's Jesus Tobacco Metal, but um, this guy, he was an original, man. He just put out his first video, calm, cool, laid back. Awesome job. Uh, Pipe Man APX. Might, it might be Pipe Man Apex. Pipe Man APX, uh, first video. Mr. He13, first video. Um, the Shub1, uh, saw his video last night. Uh, Mr. I Smoke Alone, another original guy, just threw it right up. Mr. Shub was a pretty good original, too. I drink alone. <laughs> uh, New York guy, Mets fan, brother of the Briar. Don't hate on him because he's a Mets fan. <laughs> Some people from New York will do that. But uh, he put out his first video and it was pretty cool too. And he's going to be doing a future video of uh, B&M right beside his job. Showing us uh, where he goes and gets all his stuff. Is that the guy from the Bronx? Uh, New York. Bronx is in New York. New York City. Well, sure. Bronx. My dad was from the Bronx. Uh, busted knuckle. Hmm. Nice, nice video. I liked it. You got a nice collection of uh, uh, of pipes going there. Um, yeah. He's uh, getting ready to go to Boswell's. Uh, tell him to dag smoking Dagners and Dagner performance yeah. says hi. Tell him Jason. And Jason said hi. And uh, fuck, don't we sent you? Yeah, tell him we sent you. <laughs> Hey, that's awesome, and uh, you got some awesome pipes going. It's it's uh, refreshing to see a new uh, pipe smoker getting quality pipes instead of yeah. these. Busted Knuckle, get some of this countryside if you like beef jerky. It's good stuff. And he was talking about uh, Balkan. You want to get Larry's blend. That's, that's, that's the best. That's pretty tasty Balkan if, yeah. if they have it. I'm not sure uh, Boswell's have it. You might have to no, go to you Pipes and Cigars to get that. Pipes and Cigars. Get yourself some Mississippi River when you do that order, too. Pipes and Cigars is awesome, too. Yep. Tell those guys we said hi. Well, uh, last guy on the list, uh, and this is just for today, is uh, Little Giants. He put his first video out. And, uh, they're all of them, man. I'm going to give him a give him a applause for, uh, Stepping up the plate and showing us who they are and, you know, not looking like a stalker or a lurker. And uh, just getting on that video uh, blogging system for the YouTube. Now, one other one other guy I want to mention is, uh, just came across him. His name is Rob Man Pipe. H-R Rossi 5. H-R-R-O-S-S-I-5 is his channel. Guy's a uh, German pipe maker. Man, he's knocking it out. This guy's making pipes. He's got his own style, his own look. It, to me, his pipes kind of look like a Boswell Mario Grande mix collaboration. Uh, check his channel out. Um, I'll try to put a link to uh, all this stuff. I don't know if I'd count on that today, though, man. I don't, I don't feel good. <laughs> it's a lot of work for me to do all that. But, uh, what the shit, man? Other than that, uh, that's all the notes that I have written down. Man, I'm losing all my shit. God dang it. 
soon and you're sick, you just can't think straight. My nose is running, farting upstream. Man, and my farts stink. They're real sick, like they got a virus or something. I farted last night when I got in bed. Oh, that Debbie Cakes was happy about that. No, nah, she was she was sick too. She took NyQuil, so she couldn't smell it, but it was bad. Like, I farted, and it came up through the covers. It didn't come out under the covers. It came through the covers. And I was like, and I'm sick and my nose stuffed up. And I was like, oh, God, dang, who did that? We should have been yelling, Dad, come light it, come light it. <laughs> oh, man, they would have blown the house up. They fucking stunk so bad. Another blue darter. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. How can you not have stinky farts when you're sick? Do they have a pill for that? Because it was that bad. Like, I didn't even want to smell my own shit. No, they got a pill for just about everything, so they probably got a pill for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like smelling my own farts, but when I'm sick, it's like smelling somebody else's fart. It's not your own fart. It's it's something else. It's like a, a demon fart or something because you're sick. Well, I wonder how Stogie Farts feels about that. Oh, he feels like that every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been sick all week, so I don't really have anything else going on um, and if I did I'm probably not going to remember it right now anyways because like I'm in the fucking cloud zone well Diesel da a Dragon Tamer thank you very much for the bracelet yeah I'll, Angel I'll let you know if it uh, works you know why I opened that package because I, I talked to him last night for a short minute on Skype and he said yo man did you get that package <laughs> I said, yeah, man. And he goes, open it. And I was like, well, I, I didn't, we're sick, man, and we were going to do a box opening for it or a package opening. We're both sick. We just didn't weren't up to doing a video yesterday. And he's like, oh, man, I don't care. Open it. I'm doing my horrible impersonation of uh, DDT's uh, Mexican uh, accent, which is, I think this is way better than mine. But I opened it, I did a, a yappo with him over Skype last night, which was awesome. So, uh, Angel, thanks. And, uh, yeah. Gotta can't, send you something. Can't beat these little corn cobs. You can smoke your shit in them, man. Yeah, I, I've been smoking my frosty mint in mine. And, uh,. That's all I'm gonna smoke in it, you know. Corn cob take a beating, man. What did we name that concoction you made with with um, no bite delight? Frosty delight. Frosty delight. I did. Uh, actually, you know, some guy's been cutting it like a third. I did half delight, half frosty. I like it extra minty. The minty is good, and I smoked that frosty mint. I got it. It's a uh, Altitis blend from. Uh, I got it at Pipes and Cigars. It's like four under four dollars an ounce. And I bought four ounces of it, and I smoked it straight, man. This shit was minty. Like, I snorted some uh, mouthwash. <laughs> oh. Like, <coughs> my nose just opened up the other day. And it, and it came at the perfect time. Uh, I got it on Tuesday, and Tuesday was the worst, uh, the worst feeling that I had of being sick of this sinus infection. Uh, but it... Uh, it opened me right up. I'd recommend Frosty Mint if you're going to get sick or just to have some when you do get sick because <coughs> My doctor gave me the flu shot and it didn't help. <coughs> I'm still flu, fucking sick. Flu shots are bullshit. Mm. Best way to get over cold, bullshit. eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Juice, just eat really good. I took no medicine except for NyQuil one night when I just couldn't sleep, man. I was just... Constantly pouring <coughs> snot, it's running down my throat, and I'm choking over it, spitting in a cup. Took some NyQuil and knocked me the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, I take NyQuil and do zinc. Zinc. Just saw some zinc tablets. Boost that immune system. Don't eat McDonald's and none of that fatty ass shit. Eat good. That's my uh, my health benefit to everybody in YouTube. YouTube, we're the fuck out of here. Adios. See ya.